A regular spider bite is harmless, and you don't have to worry too much about getting bitten by one except if you have an allergy. You may experience redness, swelling, a pain in the area of the bite. However, bites from venomous spiders like a black widow or brown recluse are more serious. They may cause difficulty breathing, severe headaches, and painful muscle cramps, and may require immediate medical attention. The black widow is one of the most venomous spiders in the world, with its poison being 15 times more potent than that of a rattlesnake. It has a black body and a red hourglass color underneath its abdomen. The black widow would not touch you if you don't touch them. That's why they prefer quiet, undisturbed areas like wood piles building overhangs, attics, fences, and outhouses. A black widow will rather run away from you in fear than bite, and mostly when they bite, it's usually a dry bite. However, if they have eggs to protect or feel threatened, they'll come for you. The bite causes immediate and sharp pain. You'll notice two small red dots at the bite size, and the area becomes numb. Within the first 15 minutes, your arm starts to cramp. The venom of spiders is a special neurotoxin that passes the blood into the nervous system. It spreads from the tiny capillaries near the surface of the skin and goes deeper into the body. Once the neurotoxin grabs onto the protein receptors of your nervous system, it can't be stopped. Not even by the immune system, because venom proteins have very strong grips. However, the body tries to fight. Your immune system rushes blood full of white cells to the site and the bite area begins to swell and turn red. In 30 minutes, this poisonous protein has attracted lots of calcium to your nerve receptors. Your body then starts to pump out hormones that dilate your muscles, contract your muscle tissues, and slow down your heart rate. In an hour, your nervous system has gone crazy. The area of the bite is now burning and extremely painful and the poison spreads all through your body. You'll begin to have severe spasms and cramps all over, and you'll find it very difficult to walk. Three hours later, the venom would have made it to all parts of your body. Your condition gets worse over the next few hours as fever sets in. Your temperature then rises to burn the poisonous protein, and sweat is released to cool the body down. The neurotoxin then goes to your respiratory system. Then you'll find it difficult to breathe. By now, your heart rate is way down. After 12 hours, the poisonous effect starts to wear off. The neurotoxin loses its power and you start feeling better. The receptors of the nervous system get free from the venom's protein and the pain decreases. You will now be able to breathe and your muscles start to relax. After two to three days, the symptoms will disappear. However, people with weak immune systems will need medical attention and anti-venom to get rid of the toxin. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like if you're enjoying the content. For a brown recluse, the initial bite isn't very painful. Some people may not even know that they've been bitten. When a brown recluse bites, its venom starts to do its silent work in your body. And in about three to eight hours, the bite area gets red and swollen. Your temperature rises and the pain increases. You might also develop a blister in the bite area in a few days. In healthy people, the symptoms stop in about three to five days and they could get better, but for others, the wound continues to grow and worsen. At this point, they need to talk to a doctor. When a brown recluse bites, the toxin is absorbed into the blood vessels and it destroys their walls. When a heavy amount of venom has been injected into the blood, your immune system can't cope on its own. This causes your tissues to lose their blood and oxygen supply. Blisters from a brown recluse heal in about two to three weeks, but in worst cases, it can take two to three months. When a wandering spider bites, its toxin causes heavy salivation and a very erratic heart rate. Before the spider bites, it'll give you a warning by raising its front legs in a defensive mode. The bite of a wandering spider is very painful. Then the skin around the bite swells and turns red and hot. In severe cases, the bite leads to dead tissue or death. For a wolf spider, its bite is not too serious for humans. The area of the bite only gets red, swollen, and itchy. You can differentiate wolf spiders from other spiders with three rows of eight eyes each. Also, they don't spin webs to catch their prey. They run very fast and chase them down. They are often seen as scary because they can grow to be large and hairy, 
but they're more of a nuisance than a danger. It is, however, possible to be allergic to a wolf spider's venom. Their bite may be painful, but if you have a mild pain, itching, or swelling around the bite, it won't last long. The pain usually goes away within minutes, but the itching may last a few days as the skin heals. Non-venomous spiders usually wait for their prey to fly into their sticky web trap before they get into action. They quickly run up to their prey and spin it in 460 feet of silk.